Scotland. Great song, love it. Not a bad word said about it. In Not the at studio. all. No, it was great. Let's Listening get... to all your <laughs> superlatives that you were throwing that song's way. Let's um, read some of the scores for our Hollywood swingers. There was two of them: Anne Hathaway and Eddie Redmayne. Let's see what people thought of them. Doria Min says thirty-four. Kenny Rogers roasters for both Hathaway and Redmayne. Equal scores there from Doria Min. Francisco Flamingo says twenty-six. Kenny Rogers roasters for both performers. So that's quite funny. Two two people given two scores. Spin says fifty-eight for Hathaway and fifty-two for Redmayne. Simon Wright says I'm given Anne Hathaway twenty-seven. Kenny Rogers roasters and Eddie Redmayne thirty-seven. Kenny Rogers roasters. Although altogether, I'm giving them sixty-four. Kenny Rogers roasters. Don't <laughs> add them up. It's a versus. <laughs> it's not. It's not collaborative. <laughs> Eric from Sweden says Sweden gives Eddie zero yep even Arnold Schwarzenegger would have been an improvement there and gets 54 Kenny Rogers roasters honestly it wasn't bad but not particularly good either Sweden is with Paul on this one Alan Mark says Anne Hathaway 66 Eddie Redmayne 33 get in touch via text at 0295 let us know your scores for our Hollywood swingers this week Eddie Redmayne and Anne Hathaway if you missed it if you've just tuned in you're like what is this nonsense I'm listening to a Ashley story he's silent Paul we played you some Anne Hathaway we played you some Eddie Redmayne you can listen again again on the BBC Sounds app or website. Um, Kate and Sunny Oban says Anne is easily the winner, maybe because it's a better song. Whew, 85 for her and I think you might be a bit mean to Eddie. In what sense? Can obviously sing, but pushing it to get 15 <laughs> for me, sorry. <laughs> can I see the emails please, Paul? You can. Because we've got emails coming with some scores on that front. Um, Paul says Billy Connolly once described his own singing voice as sounding like a goose farting in the fog. Eddie sounds like a goose who <laughs> took a couple of singing lessons and went out into the fog and then passed gas. Anne was boring. Ten Kenny Rogers roasters for the flatulent goose and eight for snooze fest. See, there you go. After all that about gooses and mm -hmm. wind... It still be out something being boring. And that was from Paul Carlin, who is all the way in North Carolina. Can I please see Phil Lamb's score, since we're in the Americas? Um, Phil says, maybe we just like show tunes more than you guys do. I love a show tune. Both songs were well done, but Ms. Hathaway's clear high soprano settled the battle for us. 95 roasters for Eddie Redmayne, but 100 Kenny Rogers roasters for on, for on Hathaway, for Arn Hathaway. And thanks also for the palate cleanse. Our dignity is one of my favourite celebrations of honest work. Phil and Vicky in the wee caravan. Well, hold on a minute. Have we just been accused of maybe we don't like show tunes? Every week is a fight where Paul doesn't let me play show tunes. 
because that is all <laughs> we I want. play things like Sammy Davis Jr. Singing on the regular. Phantom of the Opera. Oh, it's so good. It was so good. Get in touch via text at 0295. Let us know your score for Anne Hathaway and Eddie Redmayne. Or you can email us. What's the email, Paul? It's Ashley Story Show at bbc.co.uk. Um, we're going to play some Phil Collins now. Mm -hmm. It's a shock for some of our longer listeners, but we're going to play Phil Collins. Here he is, and it's against all odds that we're playing Phil Collins. <laughs>